Hey there, thank you for tuning in to yet another one of my YouTube videos. There's something really interesting I want to show you, so why don't you come over here? But first, let's turn this light on. If you look at this wheel, it's very dirty. It's absolutely covered in brake dust. And normally, dirt wouldn't come off that easily. But when I spray this, you're going to see something really cool. Look at that. This is how the wheel's supposed to look, and that's with brake dust covered all over. It comes off so easily. And then if we go over to my old wheels, as you can see, dirt and brake dust does not come off as easy. Now the reason why dirt comes off so easily on my new gold wheels is because I've done something special to them and I'm going to be showing you how to do that in today's video. But before we do, we got to go to Canadian Tire to get some degreaser. A lot of people say that you need to use iron remover when cleaning your wheels as well, but I found that degreaser does the job just fine. All right, now that we've got our degreaser, if you're wondering, by the way, this is Moto Master Multi-Purpose Cleaner and Degreaser. This stuff is great. I used this last year on my wheels. Uh, microfiber and a bunch of different brushes. They won't damage the paint or anything, so don't worry because they're plastic. And also, I've got my cool car washing shoes on. But before we do that, I want to show you a quick clip of my wheels getting washed fully because I only showed you a little portion of that earlier on in the video. A quick little tip, even if your wheels have tires on them, which mine do not currently, it's a great idea to put a rubber mat or pieces of wood underneath so that you don't scratch the paint up on the ground. All right, first things first is a quick little spray down. We wanna get everything off that we can with just water. Now that we've got the wheel all sprayed down, I'm gonna put a light up right here and we're gonna spray this with degreaser and let that sit for a little bit. Get it all over, especially on the face because that's gonna need to be the cleanest. And then also the barrel, I mean, the barrels are going to get a bunch of brake dust no matter what, even if you do treat them how we're going to do that later on in the video, but it's still a good idea to clean them off. All right, let's start cleaning the face of the wheel with a soft plastic brush. As you can see, there's some dirt here, and it's going to come off super easily. Look at that. It's time to do the barrel now. We're going to take this big brush and we're going to spray degreaser like so. And then watch this. This is going to come off so easily. Look at that. That's all just brake dust. And then once we spray this down with water, this will come off so easily. And look at this. So clean. Not a hint of brake dust anywhere. If we flip it over, no brake dust at all either. What I'm gonna do quickly is go over everything just to make sure all the brake dust is gone. And then I'm gonna take some soap and we're gonna wash it again. All right, let's go to the X5 and get something that I got specifically for this wheel. Since I'm gonna be bringing these clean wheels home to do the next step, I thought I'd get a welcome home mat. And this is also where we can dry the wheels. And there we go. Okay, this is the final step of getting the wheels prepared. We're gonna dry them up and make sure you use a towel that's dedicated for wheels or drying wheels because you don't wanna use the same towel that you use to wash your car. Now that everything's done, let's move on to the next step and get these protected. It's day two already, and I think I've made you wait long enough. What we're gonna be doing to protect these wheels from brake dust and make cleaning them much easier is this ceramic coating. Now, unfortunately, I didn't plan ahead too well, and this is the matte ceramic coating that was used on my matte gold wheels, and this is, as you can see, not matte paint. But for the sake of this video, and because I don't have enough time to get another regular gloss finish ceramic coating, we're gonna be using this on this one wheel. The good thing about my mistake, though, is that I now remember to leave this in the description, because if you have matte wheels, you will wanna use a matte ceramic coating. And another note on the ceramic coating is that, one, you're gonna be wanting to find a high temperature ceramic coating, and two, you don't wanna use the cheap ones that just spray on that you see in big department stores and such. You wanna use actual detailer grade ceramic coatings that you need to apply like one or two layers and then have a sealer on top. With that being said, let's get rubbing alcohol on here and clean everything off to prepare for the ceramic coating. We're gonna to wanna to get all oils, 
dirts, dusts, every bit of contamination off of these wheels so that the ceramic coating can stick properly. Basically, you want to use rubbing alcohol wherever the ceramic coating is going to go. All right, the wheels all cleaned off. We've got everything off that we possibly could with the alcohol. So now we're going to do the first layer of ceramic coating. And every ceramic coating kit is different, but almost all of them will include these little cloths, along with a sponge, the actual ceramic coating itself, and also a sealer. Some kits will not include the sealer, though, actually, so you'll have to purchase that extra. Normally, you'd be doing a car, so you'd want to put the cloth on top like this, and then sprinkle on a few drops of the ceramic coating, and then do the flat panel. But since we're not going to be doing flat panels here, I'm just going to use the cloth, and that's fine. Every single ceramic coating kit is going to have their own set of specific instructions. So for this video, we're going to be going off of their instructions, but whenever you get the ceramic coating for your wheels, please follow their instructions rather than mine. The first thing we want to do is shake this bottle up and sprinkle a few drops on to the towel. There we go. I might have put too much on. Again, look at the instructions for your specific ceramic coating. I'm going to do the outer edge first, just along here. And once you do an area, you want to let it sit for 10 to 30 seconds and then buff it off with a microfiber towel. In the meantime, I will show you this cool microfiber cloth. It is available at my um, YouTube channel for a million dollars if you're interested in buying. Anyways, that should be enough time, so let's rub this off. On the wheel, it's a little bit difficult to tell the difference between ceramic coating and no ceramic coating, so I've ceramic coated this piece of floor so that you can see the difference. There it is, right there. As you can see, there is quite a bit of a difference, and in person, this looks much richer, darker, and it's also more slippery. Anyways, let's start doing the spokes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do all five spokes. Yeah, there are five spokes, okay. I'm going to do all five spokes, and then I'm going to dry them in the exact same order so we have the required amount of time between them. You might not be able to notice the difference on camera, but there is a definite difference in person. And one of the most noticeable things is while rubbing this microfiber cloth on here, you can tell that it's gliding so easily. The paint, of course, would let this glide easily, but with the ceramic coating on there, this glides like butter. It's crazy. With this specific ceramic coating, you want to wait 12 to 24 hours between coats, and also 12 to 24 hours after you're done coating it to put the final sealant on. I'm probably only going to be doing one coat because I'm not going to be using these wheels a whole lot. They're just going to be my track wheels, and I don't really need a whole lot of protection from brake dust because hey, I'm, I'm going to take it to the track and I'm going to take it home and wash them right away. So they should be fine. But with that being said, I'm going to have to do the final sealant tomorrow. So I'll see you in about 12 hours for me and about three seconds for you. Day three is here. And with that, we're ready to put on the sealant spray. Every company is going to be different. But with this sealant spray, what you've got to do is take a microfiber, spray it on the microfiber and apply it. It's super easy. You don't need to buff it off or anything. You just put it on and leave it. Once you've done this, you can of course put the wheel back on your car, but I'd recommend waiting at least 24 hours. But of course, you should look at the instructions for the specific company that you got your ceramic coating for. It might be 48 hours, it might be 12 hours, or maybe you'll be able to drive it right away. Before using this, you want to shake really well. And I'm going to spray it right onto the microfiber. And like that, we're just going to apply it right on. And with that, we're all done. This wheel looks amazing. Even though this is a matte ceramic coating, this gloss wheel does look shinier and the color looks deeper. So I can only imagine how much better it would look with an actual gloss ceramic coating. I know how tedious it seems having to take all four wheels off your car and then also leaving it on stands for three or four days. So you actually don't have to. If you want to leave your wheels on your car, what you could do is you could degrease the face and try to reach under the spokes to get the back as well and then ceramic coat the face and the lip of the barrel. Because again, the inner barrel, like down here, is always gonna get really dirty with brake dust. And I'm not sure why, but it will. Uh, the faces though, with a quick rinse, all the brake dust will come off almost instantly, unless you drive the car for weeks on end without washing the wheels. Anyways, this is the end of this week's video. I post every Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern, so if you did enjoy this week's video, come back next week and I'll have another video for you to enjoy just as much if not more. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.